Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for the LSU Tiger fans coming out of the 2025 class as four-star cornerback Jabari Antoine commits to the LSU Tigers. And you start taking a look at what the LSU Tigers are building in that 2025 class. It truly looks like it's going to be a special class for Brian Kelly. LSU, obviously, you have a guy like Bryce Underwood, DeCorian Moore, Harlem Bear, you add one of the top cornerbacks from that 2025 class and a guy like Jabari Antoine, who really brings every single trait that you want in an elite cornerback at the college level. He's got a very good frame at 6'1", 170 pounds. Heard he's more up to 6'2 right now. He's a guy that is extremely fluid as a mover. His transitions, how he breaks on the football, and he's very physical at the catch point has a basketball background. You certainly see that pop up on the film. I want to do a couple things. One, talk about Jabari Antoine, what he brings to the table for this LSU program, and then take a sneak peek at what LSU is building in that 2025 class. Truly a special class for the LSU Tigers. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys. And it has been truly a blast covering this LSU program, whether it's the coaching carousel and kind of filling in that defensive coaching staff the transfer portal, the high school recruiting ranks. You guys continue to show a ton of love to the boys. Cannot thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Jabari Antoine. And the guy that I had to kind of go in, dig into the film, do a little reading on what he brings. And I think the first thing you want to talk about is just the box checking that Jabari does in terms of what you're looking for a cornerback, right? Many of you guys who've listened for a long time, kind of know the three boxes that I want to see checks from cornerbacks making that jump from the high school ranks to the college level. One is the frame, right? Especially in the SEC, you see a lot of big physical receivers. Do you have the frame? Do you have the length to deal with that size? And a guy like Jabari Antoine at 6'2", 170 pounds, certainly has that. Looks to be a, maybe putting on a little bit more weight as he get in, gets into the college level. The next thing I look for is the long speed. And although you don't have any certified testing numbers on a guy like Jabari Antoine, you've turned on the film, which we'll do in just a second. You don't really have questions about his makeup speed, his long speed, his ability to run with wide receivers down the field. And then the last one you want to look for is the ball skills. And many of you guys know I love cornerbacks that have a background in basketball because they know how to high point the football. And that is the first thing that really pops out to you about a guy like Jabari Antoine. And he is used to going up, attacking the football. He has those really good ball skills. And that is something that I think lacks in a lot of cornerbacks making that jump from the high school to college ranks. And they might be big. They might have that long speed. But when that football is in the air, can they go make a play on it? And a guy like Jabari Antoine, time after time on the film, shows that he can do that. And the last thing that I think is really an add-on and why you see him as a top 100 national player is extremely smooth in his transitions, in his backpedal, breaking on the football. That's what you want, right? It's all good to have that long speed, but at that cornerback position, you also have to be able to mirror receivers, break on footballs. Jabari Antoine has very, very good short area quickness, breaking on footballs. That's another thing that you really like. He's really sticky in man coverage. He uses that length to put hands on wide receivers. A lot of things to like about his game. Now, I want to get into the film, talk a little bit about what he brings to the table, and I think – one of the first things that pops out on the film is his ability to play kind of all over the field, right? This first rep, you're going to see him playing kind of that, that center field safety role. And this is kind of what I mean when that football is in the air, tell me you're a basketball player and you see him go find that football, go up high point it, make a play on it. And that's exactly what you're looking for out of a cornerback that again, a lot of these young cornerbacks kind of lack those ball skills. The next couple of reps you're going to see, I mean, one sticky, the ability to turn and run with wide receivers, be able to hand fight down the field, be able to have that physicality. Another thing that, I mean, a lot of cornerbacks sometimes lack making that jump is being able to deal with the physical, bigger wide receivers that you'll see in the SEC. A guy like Jabari Antoine, you don't really have many questions because one, he has the length and two on the film, you see him deal with physical, like the physicality of wide receivers. Next couple of reps, I mean, I think a couple of things that you're really noticing about him, this is just the breaking, I mean, like right in the hip pocket the whole time, tracks the football, goes and makes a play. Those are the type of things that you can't really get from a track field. You can't really get from measurables. You just got to watch the film and see how they can do it again. Just right in the hip pocket, 
very, very sticky cornerback. And that's one of those things that you're looking for, right? Making every throw hard on the quarterback, hard on the wide receiver. That's what really jumps out about his film. Again, sticky, hip pocket, extends the play, and he's right, right in the hip pocket of the wide receiver. Now, I think Jabari Antoine is a very exciting get. And you take a look at what LSU is doing in the 2025 class. And, and this is what excites me, right? You land Bryce Underwood. And you guys know my take on Bryce Underwood as a Michigan fan. Wanted him to come to Ann Arbor. This is, I mean, one of the more generationally talented quarterbacks that we've seen come from the high school ranks. 6'3 and a half, 205, can extend plays, be an athlete, but has an absolute howitzer of an arm, but you continue to scroll down the list in this offense with the guy like DeCorey and Moore, who runs a 10, six, 100 meter dash is a very physically imposing wide receiver, top five national player committed to LSU. Another one in Harlem Barry, the number one running back in the class of 2025. You look at the offense for LSU and what they're doing in the 2025 class. It's absolutely loaded. And then you add a guy like Jabari Antoine into the, into the fold here. One, I mean, LSU has kind of been banging the table for getting back, on the recruiting trail and getting that top talent in the defensive back room to kind of come to LSU. And you're seeing that. I don't know how much of a role Corey Raymond had in this recruitment, but you probably feel pretty good about what Corey Raymond has been able to do early on. And this is probably the thing that sticks out to me the most, right? You take a look at this 2025 cycle and it is the state of Louisiana, Harlem Berry, LSU, Jabari Antoine, LSU. You start scrolling down the list. I mean, like, LSU is not letting this top talent lead the state. And we kind of harp on this, but I think it's really important. LSU's ability to have the best players in the state of Louisiana stay home, play their football at LSU. That's absolutely massive. And another huge win on the recruiting trail for Brian Kelly. And it may have took him a little bit to get his feet under him on the recruiting trail for LSU. He is doing a phenomenal job in that 2025 class. If you're an LSU Tiger fan, you got to feel really, really good about where it's going again. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll talk to y'all later.